Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much. I've been reading all of your guys' comments. I'm making a YouTube channel. I just have to, right? I mean, why not? <laughs> but we're just going to take you guys through, show you our collection, show you what we do kind of day to day, uh, adventures we go on. Anywhere we go, if we do something fun, we'll we bring do you guys something along. fun and cool. I don't know, show you guys. Seem a little interested. So thank you for all the support. We love you guys. We're going to show you through our house on this video, maybe a couple animals. And drop some ideas down there if there's something you want to see out of our collection. Uh, an educational video. Might not be too good, but I can try. And that's about it. Enjoy the video. So here we go. We just walked into the reptile room. This is just to show you guys a quick layout of how we have things set up. We're definitely going to have to do a more in-depth reptile room tour to show you all of the animals that we have down here. These are the couple of aquariums we have in the actual reptile room. We have the Cayman Pond in the back. We have these breeding racks with all of our ball pythons. So we're really excited to kind of take you guys through and show you guys some different stuff. The next room we have coming up, we have our little bearded dragon. We have another uh, cichlid aquarium and a couple of turtle ponds. Of course, we have our big pond with all of our tropical fish here. And I would love to do a more in-depth video to show you the filtration, how we heat it, and uh, how we keep it clean. This 110 gallon tub is our newest addition, turtle pond. We're getting ready to feed some fish. I'll take you along for that. And we're gonna feed some turtles too. So I just get this Kroger tilapia, little chunks or little fillets here and uh, they work out just fine. We'll get this stuff thawed out and start feeding some turtles and fish. So I've got my old bucket lid and my fishing knife here. We're just gonna cut up this tilapia. Just depending on whatever animal I'm feeding, I'll cut it up to size. Like something like this, I'll give my big Paku. And then maybe something a little thinner slice I'll give to my arowana. And then also some medium sized pieces for my catfish. So I'm gonna get this fish chopped up and we'll feed some fish. All right, so we have to like sneak feed this arowana because he's pretty shy. Oh, we got it. That was sweet. Here, let's see if he'll eat another, another piece of fish. Hold on. You just have to get him in a good spot. Oh, that was awesome. That was awesome. Hold on, one more little piece. Let's see, get him in a good spot. Oh man, that's so cool. And yes, guys, I know I have an arowana in a pond. It's probably gonna jump out. We're just gangster enough where we don't even care. I've got my little feeding rod here that I got from the pet store. It's just kind of like a clear little piece of PVC or plastic, but it's made to kind of attach some fish to and feed, feed your fish. So let's get started. Let's see here. I like to put the fish on the end of here and I'll try and make sure I target feed certain fish. So once I start dropping tilapia in, we can see that big Paku is going to start going crazy and he's going to start mowing it down. This is going to trigger some of the other fish. Hey, there must be some food in here. So let me give him a few chunks. Oh, he missed it. You didn't think that big fish could move like that, did you? But here, let's try and get this piece over to my red tail cat. Let's see. Oh, oh, the Paku wants it. It's almost like fishing. Yeah, he would eat every piece if uh, you let him. But here, let's get a piece over here. Come here, little red tail. I haven't named this catfish yet, but you can tell he can smell fish in the water. Whoa, whoa! Man, it's really hard to target feed some of these fish. Oh, there we go. Let's get this catfish going. Not the smartest little creatures, are they? Oh, no, I dropped it, you guys. All right, hold on. We will feed this catfish, I promise. What the heck? No wonder I go through so much tilapia. Here we go, here we go. Oh, man. That little red tail is getting so big. But let me get some more pieces of fish in here. Let's see if this gar will eat. Uh, let me see what thin slice I have. He needs a pretty small, thin slice. But here, let's put it up next to this gar. Usually I put it right up against this little Florida gar's mouth. Oh. Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, he got it. Wow, he gulped that right down. All right, let's try to get a couple more pieces of fish in here, and uh, we'll move on to the next one. All right, one more for the catfish. One more, Mary, for the catfish. Oh, 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 This poor cat, oh my gosh. 
He'll never grow. Let's see here. We will get one more for the catfish, just to be fair. He is so mad right now. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. So we're down here at the saltwater tank. You can tell that this green wolf eel is going crazy right now. He's going to want some food. Why don't you get a shot from the top, Mary? This little guy explodes the food. He just has to realize, oh, I love feeding this little fish. I've also got a blood red hawkfish in here. Let's give him a little chunk. There you go, buddy. Bam. Next up, the common snapping turtle. Oh crap, I'm stuck. There we go. Hey guys, what's up? Just wanted to do an update on our giant Asian mantis. Look at the size of this thing. This thing actually molted probably like three or four days ago. Here's the molt right here in my hand. You can see some of its like little spikes on its arms and stuff there. Look how much bigger this thing is. This is so cool. I love these guys so much. Just want to do a little update and show you the size. Possibly has one more molt to go, but I think we got lucky and this is a female. So she should live for about a year, two years max. Really lucked out with this one. Just such an awesome insect. So this next clip is of Peaches, our Goffin's Cockatoo. We got this guy about a year ago. I'm sure you guys have seen the video where Noah surprises me and we get the bird. He is doing absolutely fantastic. He's settling in really good here. Definitely a challenge with the Goffin's Cockatoos. I love this guy to death, though. He's kind of taking a liking to Mary a little bit, but we still love him. Just want to include this clip. We're just kind of playing with him, doing a little Peaches update. He's doing just fine. Mm-hmm. What? Come here. Come here. Come on. Good bird. Are you such a good bird? Are you? Oh. What? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope everyone enjoys it. Please leave us a comment and a like down below. And uh, we will see everyone next week. Thank you.